thing it's holding. It's a prism. And that looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. <clears throat> there. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? We can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water. It's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. They found us! Get you ready! Shit!
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Voss. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm huh. sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. Huh. To be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Don't try anything stupid. Huh. Nothing over here. You'd better not be stalling.
Enough. Coward! Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! My patience. Yielding. Kicks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. 
don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Bias. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Sovel we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm if just you saying. Like. All right, 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 right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's okay. care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. Mm, can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoist crap. Hoist law. Yeah, that's too. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. Well, it's either British or Portuguese. 1800, so not quite modern. <laughs> Soul thinks we're dead. Let's try to keep it that way. Go, oh, Nadine. We are not on a free fight. There we go. This way. Copy that. Should have packed my machete. Little help? No problem. Go ahead. Look, you first. Much obliged. Wow. Holy shit. Chloe! Yeah. 
It's okay. I'm okay. I'm not the hunter. <laughs> a detour. You coming? Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. Oh, damn, you weren't choking. I never joke. Not about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your robe, which... Uh, there goes nothing! You in one piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I can do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him, man. Uh, <laughs> Got it. See anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? This should work. <laughs> huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Are you too kind? No. She's just worried I'd kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward. Uh, Sorter, we'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. <laughs> oh, Chloe! Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, okay. You all right? Yeah. Great, I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I'll have a better idea. What are you... Don't move. Oh, come on, hey. I said don't move. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, out, out, out. Hey, too, Chloe. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. Yeah, yeah, just leave the rope for me, please. You got it. There's a cave up there. Might cut through to the tricks. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Okay. What is this place? You and we can probably wait. That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure, why? 
the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these. Hey, Sam. Saying. Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and just... <gasps> she said she was cool! Did you like my conversation? Yeah, don't stop for you. the last of them. Uh, Nadine, another word? What? Just following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone come forward. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. <sighs> you alright? Yeah. Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. Fraser, you go first. Thanks. Necessary. Really to the rail yard. God's ball, she's alive. <laughs> hey, D, she's over here. Are you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Hey, D, do you see a way up? 
Rise up. We'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. Jesus. Not quickly. Oh, shit. Well, it looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard us all talk about Trollon? Swear to God, all I'd heard from his man was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. The salt must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. They might be mad at one. I, I mean... Forget it. Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. <coughs> Huh. Why would they break off the tunnel? We could climb up the wall, but it's too high for a boost. <laughs> 